I'm here on the tarmac of the Executive Jet Lounge in Sydney Airport where all the private jets fly in. David Dicker from Dicker Data has just landed behind us here and he's flying in to do Beer with a Billionaire for Forbes Australia. Cheers, David. Thank you for joining me here for a Beer with a Billionaire on your private jet. Well, th thank you for having me. Yeah, well, no problem at all, obviously. Well, let's talk about the jet first. Can you tell me about the decision to buy us? always done a lot of flying. I mean, I first flew to Canberra as a 10-year-old kid unaccompanied. Now, obviously, it was completely out of the question when I was younger because it's expensive, you know, but you get into a position where you can do it and it's like, well, I'm going to do it. But I do want to talk about how you actually pay for it. Look, to yeah. be honest, I don't even really want to know how much it costs to, to, to run it because it takes the fun out of it. <laughs> yeah. The, I think the pilot's got 60,000 bucks a month. And you need two. You? Yeah, well, and you really need a pool. You need sort of three. It's frighteningly expensive and it's ridiculous. And <laughs> it's you can't justify it in any way, <laughs> shape or form, except that I could do it. So I was going to do it. Well, it. Yeah, well, you've worked hard. So you deserve it. You know, I'm not even sure if I really did work hard. I mean, like, I'm not really capable of working hard. I'm not one of these guys that can do really long hours. Like I was a programmer for years. Yeah. And I could only really be effective for about six hours a day. The real key to the success is is, is the commitment and doing whatever has to be done when it has to be done. I like the way you simplify the success. It's pretty simple. You say simple strategy. When you say do what needs to be done at the time, can you just elaborate on that? Like, how do you mean? Like, does it mean just be, just move quickly? Or? I would never leave the office with with any unread emails in my inbox. You know, you, we, we never left work without everything in effect that had to be done being done. And I always got to work before the employees, always left after the employees. Like, you know, there's no work-life balance going on here. I haven't <laughs> got any regrets over it because I like going to work. I wasn't interested in doing anything unless it was so difficult it was almost impossible because otherwise it's, it felt unsatisfying. You can't fight your own personality, it's a problem. You tried to, I mean, I've tried to, God, <laughs> you know, but it's just very difficult. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I found interesting is you started, but it wasn't like an overnight success. It was going okay with 140, 120 million a year sales. In 97, um, I started trading the US stock market. I started with 180,000. I ran that up to nearly 3 million. What was your main strategy? Like what was your number one strategy? When it My came father to asked me that one day. And I just said to him, well, if it starts to go up, I buy it. And if it starts going down, I sell it. And okay, he was simple. very disappointed because I think he was hoping for some kind of real yeah. sort of, but that's all you do. <laughs> Dicker Data had the phenomenal success. Well, the huge success over the last few years. What's the main thing you put it down? It comes down to the employees and they're just really good and they perform better. And that's really the key. And attracting and retaining those people though, how do you, what's the Pay a lot of money. You do love cars, don't you? Yeah, I do. We're trying to build a track car that's quicker than a Formula One thing. You just take it to track days and drive around and you'll be quicker than every other guy there. So you'll be able to luxuriate and blast and pass the ball. And yeah, it's just a fun car. What do you think is near, in the near future? Yeah, well, we should do it next year. David, thank you so much for joining me for Be With A Billionaire on the private jet. It's been a pleasure. Thanks.